Stevenson gets the 14-3 win tonight over Catholic. Len Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, let's uh, let's get out of the way. Congratulations. 250th career win or one for as many different ways as I butchered your name over the years. Um, you take a second to think about it. I know right now you're just happy to win a game, but what does it mean to reach that number? Well, I think if you, uh, if you, uh, you understand where we've come from. You know, when I first came here, you know, we had a slanted practice field. We had none of the things we had now. Um, uh, average high school team would have beat us 20 to 1. Uh, so, you know, what we've come to now and I think we've achieved over the, my 19 years here is uh, pretty remarkable. And to do it with uh, Tim Paulus, my assistant the whole time, uh, is a lot. Tim does a great job, but we built it together. And uh, to get 250 wins, like Villa Julie College, if you told me when I took over there 19 years ago, you'd have 250 wins here, I'd tell you you're, you're crazy. I'm going to have like five and I'm going to leave. But now, but it's been a good landing place and a good home place and treated me really well over the years. And so it's just a, always a great thing to get one of those mile, uh, milestone uh, wins. And so, uh, uh, we'll take it, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, we'll celebrate that later maybe with a little toast with my wife. But, you know, it was a good win. We'll take it, and uh, 250 is nice. I think I heard MC say she was going to throw you a reception on Saturday night, so make sure you hold her to that. Um, this one tonight, just getting one. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't want to over-celebrate one win, yeah. but, you know, after a couple of tough ones, I, I imagine it's nice to get a yeah. performance that's a bit more complete. Well, I think it was more like what we are. You know, I think we, we had a great fall. We had a great preseason. We didn't give up double-digit goals at any of those times, and then we kind of come out and didn't play great against your sinus, got it handed to us a little bit. Uh, we hung around with CNU for two and a half quarters, and then we kind of got a little tired, and they kind of pulled away from us a little bit. So I think we have guys of great character and a great talent. We need to kind of start to merge all that together and build and this is one wins we can you know stack a win here then hopefully we'll can stack another one on Saturday as we get better against a very good Gettysburg team so for us it's just getting better and better and so getting guys healthy so Shane's probably up to 75 percent now Josh is probably up to about 75 percent moving a little bit we hope to have maybe get Mitch back and maybe get Cam back as we get a little healthier and see where Nick's and Nick Mullevy stands so I thought we just played better defense overall you know Justin d did his job and we weren't all over the place kind of against CNU we're all all over the place trying to do everybody's job. I think tonight we just everybody did their job and only give up three goals and to a very talented Catholic team that scored a lot of goals against a lot of other good teams to hold them to three goals I thought was a really good effort and Justin did what he's supposed to do but I think our defense gave them opportunities. Uh, our close guys you know especially Eddie Masterson did a great job you know he's never played close I don't even think in high school he played close but having to bump him down there to get him to this spot I thought he played better more comfortable down there and I just thought we just played as more as the, the team I thought we'd be like tonight so hopefully we can stack that up as we go forward a little bit and uh, we know we're going to be a better team in a month than we are from now and that's the goal to get us where we need to go so but we like to play these uh, tough games to get us ready for that I feel like there were three areas that we had talked about coming in tonight about maybe needing the extra man clearing yeah. face-offs I, I think the clears were probably a little bit better tonight I think that stood out yeah. from from where we were how'd you feel about those three phases the clears were better we got a lot of transition we did a good job we messed up one that cost us a goal I thought I just thought our mid D's panicked there for a little bit and kind of threw one away uh, I thought the extra man was pretty good for the most part. I thought we got good shots. We didn't score as many as we wanted to, but I thought we got good shots uh, for the most part. And I think faceoffs got better. That kid's pretty good. He's done a good job. And I thought Justin got some good wins and uh, half. So we got a couple different guys you can go against, different guys that do different things, and uh, so which I like. But we're going to be a better faceoff team in two weeks than we are for today. You know, this, this is a work in progress, and I think those guys are up for the challenge. All right. It's another Saturday night against the number three team in the country. It's uh, let's just make it a tradition, right? Around it happens these every points. week. You know, you know what I mean. It happens every week. We, you know, we got to go down the Lynchburg, they'll probably be a top five team, and then we'll play Dickinson, who'll probably be a, a top five team, we'll play RIT, and then uh, the, the team down in the Eastern Shore, I can't remember yeah, their yeah, name, yeah. I can't remember their name, and then we'll play them, and, and then, uh, you know, we'll see what we do, you know, but that's what we like doing, and they're good games, and our guys like to play in them, so we're excited about it, the competition for sure. All right, Coach, congratulations on a milestone victory, thanks for taking the time. Thanks a lot, Glenn, appreciate it.